hello welcome everyone today I'm going to show you how to combine two different data sets to one excel sheet uh, for this task I have data about a particular company uh, the employees about the employees working in a company uh, for the first column you can see the employee number and employee name you know that this employee number is a unique number for each employee so it means for one particular employee there is only one employee number so employee number is a unique value and third one is the working hours distance accuracy so that don't worry about those variables and in second data set I have the same two columns as previous first one is employee number uh, second one is the employee name and late hours OT payment and total OT so my task is here you can see in my second data set second sheet actually uh, I have a variable called late hours so I want to uh, import this variable called late hours to this data sheet see but see here there are different set of um, employees are here and here different again a different set of employees so we can't copy copy and we can't do the copy and paste so the easiest way is to use the VLOOKUP so I'm going to uh, import this column so I create the column called late hours and then before using a VLOOKUP function you need to select the data you want so assume uh, this second sheet you are going to use these uh, five columns so you have to select these five columns without the variable names and give a name for this set of data so I'm going to give a name like data data so then go to the first sheet and here type the equal mark and we look up and put a bracket then guide is open so the first you have to enter the lookup lookup value so from the second data sheet you are going to look up for this employee number actually always lookup value is a uh, unique variable but it is not suitable to use a lookup value uh, so the employee name as a lookup value you know the when we type a name we can uh, write a name in a different ways so as an example uh, for, so the first employee name is WN Ratnayaka Banda so someone can write it has WN Ratnayaka Banda but here you can see he wrote it has Ratnayaka Banda and there is a dot at the end so it is, it is not wise to use this kind of variable so always the lookup value should be a unique value so our lookup value is a employee number so I'm so I'm going to add the lookup value for this row in the fifth row so my lookup value is this one so just click on this and then put a comma and table array table array is the uh, is the data you have selected earlier so if you can remember here I have uh, marked this set of data and give a name to uh, set of data as data 1 so here when here you can see EMP1 it means when you go to the second sheet uh, uh, without a finish without a finishing function so this kind of thing will appear so just delete it and your table array is data here click this one and the column index number so it means you know as 
as of data you have selected these five variables so now we are going to import these uh, third column to the first sheet so our column index number is one two three so here again that the same problem because so delete it type three and then comma here this one is important we have to select the range lookup so here please uh, select the extract match so the reason is uh, we are going to uh, we are going to import data using a unique variable so that there, there, there must be a uh, exact match okay now we can see for the first employer so late hours is 7 so we can check it so if you want you can go to this one and you have to find the Ratna commander so you know it's hard so what we can do is uh, we can put some filter here and now you can filter Ratna commander sorry you have to copy and paste that name just copy it and then paste it okay you can see here the late hours is 7 here also for the Radnayaka Banda first employee late hours is 7 so our function is correct so I'm going to remove this uh, filter now uh, what you have to do is to <coughs> import uh, data for other employees just press here and go to this corner and drag down this type in equation okay now we have late hours for all the employees in some sales you can see uh, there is a value called not available n slash a it means in this sheet in the second sheet there is no employee called uh, Kahavata so that's why this call here in this cell uh, gives the not available value so this is the end of my video thanks for watching uh, if you have any question please uh, leave a comment Thank you very much.